Welcome! In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can trigger audio from video like this. With Seagame Editor Visualizer. You will need FL Studio 20.8.4 or later to trigger audio from video. First, you're going to need some video. So, find something good to record. I'll just dig into my phone. It's a good idea to look for sounds you can use as a bass drum or snare, for example. Using the methods described in this video also allows you to process the audio from your video clips into sample pack ready one shots with the video still in sync. Now you're ready to rock. Import your video clips into ZGame Editor by dragging and dropping from your file browser into the main tab in ZGE. This will automatically add your drop video files as an image layer. In the add content window, Make sure to check Enable Video Preloading with Audio, Sync Video with Song Position and most importantly, Compress. This preloads the entire video into the RAM frame by frame. That will of course use a lot of RAM but will also allow fast real-time jumps and chops. You'll notice it will now play when you press play in FL Studio. However, we want some control over when and where it plays. So I'm going to add another layer and select a video controller next. This is a specialized layer with video playback controls. I will tell it to control the video in the image layer by selecting it from this list. At this point, you could use an automation clip to automate the play button and position slider and do your whole song this way but that will end up making your project rather messy quickly. A better approach is to use the envelope controller to send ZGame Editor automation data via notes. Check out our envelope controller tutorial too to learn how to use this plugin. I will open one by pressing F8 and typing ENV. Then I'll drop it in the channel rack. Let's link the play button in the video controller to Articulator 1. In Articulator 1 of Envelope Controller, I will draw a pulse. This means as long as the note is held, the play button is on. Now when I press play in FL Studio and play a note in Envelope Controller, the video plays. But that's not all. I want to use this video clip as a kick. So I need to return the playback position to the start of the clip when I release a note. However, when play is on, you'll notice the position slider moves on its own and can't be affected by automation. So I can only affect it with automation when play is off. Let's right click it and link position to Articulator 2. I'll make a straight line at the bottom. Then, after the sustain breakpoint, which is when Articulator 1 will turn off play, I will add a short modulation that moves the playback position parameter a little and returns the clip's playback position to the start. Every note I play now restarts the video clip. I can further fine tune this by moving the loop start and end sliders here. As you can see here, the video clip's audio is going out straight to the master. Of course, we want multiple effects chains for our video loops. That's why I'm going to unroute the track with ZGame Editor on it from the master and sidechain it to a free mixer track in the mixer. Then in the video controller layer, I will select route 1 to make the audio from that video clip go to the first sidechained output. Now you're ready to start composing and arranging the video. Use the alpha size and position sliders to position the video where it needs to be. Another important technique for writing a song using ZGame Editor, repitching sounds. While you could do this using a repitch plugin, you can also repitch a sound by changing its playback speed in the video controller. To demonstrate, I'll grab this video of a C note on a piano that I used in the intro example. I've already linked play button, 
position slider and alpha to an envelope controller. But every note does the same thing. To change that, I'll link the playback speed on this video controller to Articulator 3 on the envelope controller. While you weren't looking, I've mapped two full octaves to equal temperament pitch intervals in the keyboard mapping graph. This envelope controller preset will be included with the demo file, so you don't have to do this yourself. Now, notes pitch the sound up and down chromatically. Please note, the maximum speed in the video controller is 200% and so the highest pitch you can go to is one octave above the original pitch. I have only mapped one octave below the original pitch, but you can technically go as low as you like. A value of 50% on the speed slider essentially stops video playback altogether. Values below 50% will begin to play the video clip in reverse. Great! That's everything you need to know to get started making beats using video clips in Zgame Editor Visualizer. We hope you found this video inspiring and as always check the video information for segments, any relevant manual or video links and the example project used in this video.